What's up, music heads? It's your girl, Malika Denise. And in the building, we got two super... The greatest. The greatest. Y'all heard it. Yeah. All right, super. So this isn't the first time we've met. This is a few counters. Yeah, but actually, I bought you a gift because the last time I was here, I was on one way shade, so I got you some shade. And you got to wear them for the interview because, yeah. <laughs> Bad, bad. This is nice. This is, this is nice. And, and they actually match your outfit. And they do. Yeah. All black, all yeah. black. <laughs> <laughs> and white, brother. It match our outfit. Oh, God. All right, Super. So tell the world how you got started in the music game. Um, Honestly, I say, like, I started doing music. She, when I was two. Um, my dad used to like play a lot of music and those are actually like my first words, like rap lyrics. I mean, he used to play Master P all the time. So I used to rap like everything, you know, that I used to hear. So I say like when I started like really trying it, I was like 12. And then I had uploaded me a video to YouTube. I was like, okay, I'm finna take off. And then he got like 40 views. I said, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, so I deleted everything. But let me see. 40 views for a kid is very good. It, it was. It was and people were coming in, you know, and I was a kid. You know, I feel like if I would have kept going from then, like, I would probably be much further now. But everything happened for a reason. Most deaf, most so, deaf. Yeah. So other than music, what other things do you do? Like... What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so you got any brands coming out? I know you. I do. Um, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna speak on it right now. Um, actually, I'll be selling here. Mm -hmm. I have my merch coming out um, along with my EP that's coming out. Um, the merch will be coming out after the EP. Like so, you know, that's really what I'm working on right now. Like my EP and stuff like that. Um, getting the features that I need to get, working with the engineers that I'm working with. You know, it's been a great experience so far. You taught me a lot. I've been learning a lot. Are there any en specific engineers or specific artists Mark. that you want? Mark. It's Mark Carson. Follow my engineer. It's Mark Carson. Yeah. I've been working with Mark since, since I started. Seriously, like, up until now, like, yeah, I'm definitely seeing the growth with both of us. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Mark. Yeah. All right, you got Mark's Instagram so anybody can follow It's Mark him. Carson. With a Z or is? No, I T S Mark Carson. My All right. home, Mark White. So Mark gonna spell his <laughs> shit correctly. You know, he gonna spell his shit correctly. It is what it is, not a Z. It's, a, it's what it is. So <laughs> okay, so are there any artists? or any engineers or anybody that has inspired you along your way of creativity? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a couple of artists. I, uh, but I listen to like the same artists over and over. Like, but my music taste is like very broad. Like, I don't just listen to hip hop. I listen to country. I listen to rock and roll. I listen to like music made in the 40s. Music made in the fifties, like I'm What's your very favorite song versatile. made in the forties? Shit. You ask me that right now? <laughs> like, damn. Um Damn, that song made in the seventies. What's see. the shit? Jackson's oops. No, that wasn't out in the forties. Uh you just like old old people music. I, I well, do. Old music. I, I, old I, school music, not old people music. Because like I like 40s. old music. Like my favorite song from the 40s. Hmm. I'm gonna get back to you on that. I'm gonna get back to you on that. I All gotta right. go through my playlist. So next time we talk, next time I'm gonna you're have here. An answer for you, for real. That's yeah. gonna be the first question I ask. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna have an answer for you. Seriously. I, now I'm gonna need a list from <laughs> 20s, 30s, 40s, I ain't all the way up to now. From the 20s, now. Nah. <laughs> I don't know no music from the 20s. If y'all know some music, tell me, cause I don't know no music from the 20s, but Did definitely you? the 40s. Starting from the 40s, seriously. All right, so has any of those artists, well, if any of those artists were alive today, who would you like to work with? Luther Vandross. Okay. Ooh, deep. Most deaf. Yeah, Luther Got some Vandross. soul in you. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Luther Vandross. Michael Jackson, too. I would definitely want to work with Mike. 
um, James Brown. Um, he not really that old, but uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. I'll come back to him. Um, Any artists that are alive today that are popping? Like old school or like current? Oh. Old school. Um, I, I'm not even going to care. I would definitely want to do a song with Escape. Like, but I, they would have to come with that 90s vibe. I don't want them to try to switch to, to like no modern day shit. Like they would have to like really bring that 90s vibe. I would definitely want to work with Sierra too, but even with her, I need that old school underground Atlanta shit. Like I don't want that pop shit, you know, like I would definitely work with Sierra. I would definitely work with uh, Monica. Monica is actually my favorite R&B 90s singer. She's my favorite. She's number one for me. And Tony Braxton, but yeah, Monica definitely. So yeah, um, currently mm -hmm. NBA, NBA. I work with NBA. Um, Nikki, Cardi. Um, I even work with a dirt. I ain't choosing no size. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, so I'm assuming you choosing Cardi over Arc Bar, or I, I ain't. They ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh God, they ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> That has nothing to do with me. It is definitely hilarious, yeah, though. No, like, I don't get into no rap beef and nothing like that. I will, I will work with all the female artists from Atlanta. Mulatto, um, Amaretta. Uh, it's, it's a couple more. I know I'm missing a few. I will work with Ruby Rose. I even work with Asian Doll. Like, Asian Doll got some hard shit. I would definitely hop on the track with Asian Doll, seriously. So... You not from Atlanta, you are, No. Where you from? I'm I'm from I'm originally from Opelika, but I'm from Tuskegee. I'm from Tuskegee. That's where I'm from. That's Alabama for that's the people Alabama. who don't know. Yeah. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from four six. We country. We we country. I can't pretend like I'm not from Alabama. <laughs> we country. Yeah, I'm from the forty six. Who your favorite country singer since I just said we Chris country. Stapleton. Chris Stapleton. Yeah. I'm loving me some Sam Hood right now. Okay. Dolly Parton, most definitely all-time yeah. favorite. But, I mean, like, she's, like, understood, so. Like, she taught one for everybody. Yeah. It's Dolly. You can't, yeah. You right. can't go wrong with Dolly. It's Dolly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, you got any videos, any? I just actually dropped the video to my first song, you feel me? Oh, Mary, y'all go. Run it mm -hmm. up. My YouTube is two super. That's two S U P E R R double -R R's. I do everything in twos. So yeah, like go run it up, Mary. Yeah, I just dropped that. Well, I didn't just drop. I dropped it this summer, but it's still within this year. So yeah. So after, is Mary gonna be on your EP or? It will. Okay. It will. But I don't know if I wanna add two super on the EP because. I want to do something with my brother separately, and that beat was made by my brother, my mm -hmm. biological brother. So he and I are going to work together in the future. On I'm just going to do his beats. So I'm I'm excited about that too. So I think I'm gonna say two super for that. Okay. So what you think? So do you think you working with family members and keeping it personal and you know what I'm saying to the heart? Is that what's helping you stand out from others? I'm a real one. Like, at the end of the day, I'm going to put, like, and I, I get, you know, the rules of the game is to work with somebody that's already established and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. I'm only doing that to give my people the opportunity. Like, I want to bring my people with me, you feel me? Like, I, my people that I know can do what it is that I can pay somebody else to do. Mm -hmm. I want, you know, my people to do it, but... You also gotta be careful with that too, because a stranger will prove they sell more to you than somebody that you know. So you gotta be careful with that too. But I definitely wanna put my people in a position to win. You know, even if they don't work for me, they have their own opportunity. Their face card is good enough for them to go ahead and do what they need to do outside of anything that I got going on. Okay. So would you say that it has been a challenge that you have faced or what are some challenges that you have faced being in this game? 
Uh, doing shit for free. Like, people don't take it serious. You know, you, you try to, like, do favors and stuff like that, you know. And some people take that as an opportunity because you got some people out here that, that's hungry. They taking every opportunity. They don't care what it is. You could tell them to rap about a piece of bubble gum and they gonna take that <laughs> shit. Um, but it, then there's some people who they feel like, you know, they ego already involved. So because you don't charge them or there's no money being made in between y'all, you know, they, they don't take it as serious as you do. And that, that's, that's very frustrating sometimes. That be so crazy. Like, it just, it just put you at so much peace. Like, in a, in a, a great headspace or some shit like that. Upgraded pendant, they think I'm a ticket. It's because in the sun, all my diamonds glistening. If you banking off of me, you don't know the business. Cause baby, business ain't for free, so tell me what you spending. I was born a mastermind. Shouldn't even say this before I enter my prime. It was set up when my daddy set me down to rhyme. Who knew from the concrete this country girl would climb? 12 years old and I saw this coming too many times. 12 years old and I told God that he crossed the line. My daddy left and he wasn't coming back this time. I grabbed that pen and that pen didn't have no time for crime. Pity me. I can yell it out louder, I can say it in a song. Can you feel me? If I say I need you now, would you take too long? Can't be nobody else but myself And I don't need it. no sympathy I don't need it Just a symphony for my pain It's your girl 2Super I'm here with Music Head Radio Y'all can follow me at 2Super That's 2 S-U-P-E-R-R I'm not a star yet, so tell me why the fuck y'all reaching They say that I'm a threat, so tell me how the hell y'all breathing You know I always try my best, I don't believe in leaving Unless you give me reasons But I don't need a reason if you just run for a season We good for spring and summer, but by the fall you leaving Stuck in the